guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys how I do my everyday makeup for work. So this is super simple and easy and a lot of the products that I use just fit in one of my makeup bags right here. So hindi siya full coverage look. I've been recently into more natural everyday makeup looks. So this is the look that I came up with. Originally, it was gonna be my TSA approved makeup bag but I ended up loving this look because it's what I used when I was in Japan and so bring na in love lang ako na ang dali niyang gawin tapos super quick and easy. Like I said, super quick and easy lang siya. So perfect talaga for everyday for work kasi pag nagmamadali ka na, you don't really have the time to do a full coverage look. But then also, you always want to look put together. So yeah, this is my quick and easy everyday work makeup look. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, to start off, of course, we're using some sunscreen kasi syempre, important yan para ma-protect yung skin mo on the daily. Even though nasa office ka lang and all, syempre, meron pa rin mga, uh, meron pa rin windows yan, matatamaan pa rin or lalabas ka pa rin na magkakaroon pa rin ng interaction yung skin mo with the sun. So, what I like to use, this is a recent discovery when I visited the Philippines. This is from Happy Skin. It is the Catch the Sun UV Gel Cream. So, it's brightening. It has SPF 40. So, one thing I love about Happy Skin's products is the fact na skincare products skincare products din siya so ito yung sunscreen sobrang nipis lang niya once you spread it all over your face hindi siya nakaka-clog ng pores which is what i love about it so perfect lang talaga siya for everyday may kamahalan siya i think it's 999 pesos pero a little goes a long way naman like a few dots all over your face syempre iba yung Iba yung gagamitin mo na sunscreen all over your body ito perfect na to for your entire face so kahit may bangs ako syempre gan natin ang sunscreen niyan. Tapos yung neck mo din, para pantay. Super bilis lang din mag-absorb ng skin ko nung sunscreen na to. Now, of course, yung brow. So, one of my favorite products, you guys know about this, is the Benefit Precisely My Brow. While the sunscreen is setting on my skin, what I like to do is do my brows naman para hindi tayo nag-waste ng time na nag lang. Kasi, syempre, nagmamadali ka for work. Kailangan mabilisan lahat. And pencil ang pinakamabilis for me na pang fill in ng brows. Aside from um, brow mascara. Yung brow mascara kasi, oo, mabilis siya and maganda. Kaso, kung araw-araw mo siya ginagamit, tas yun lang talaga, mabilis ka mauubusan. Same din naman with the pencil. Pero kunyara, may sparse areas ka. May sparse areas yung brows mo. Mas madali din mag-fill in kapag naka-pencil ka. So... Siyempre yung sa brows, depending na lang din yan sa preference nyo. Kung mas hiyang kayo sa brow mascara or pencil. Kasi ang dali lang talaga gamitin ng pencil sa totoo lang. O, oh, diba? Tapos na. Kasi yung kabila namang side. So, kahit may bangs ako, inaayos ko pa rin yung brows ko, guys. So, I have dry skin. So, essential pa rin sa akin na nagmo-moisturizer everyday. Kahit na summer, kahit na humid, nagmo-moisturizer pa rin ako. Kasi sobrang dry ng skin ko and hindi gaganda yung lapat nung foundation ko on my face if I don't use moisturizer. So, what I like to use for the daily is the Celetic Advanced Anti-Aging Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. This actually has SPF 15. So, para ka nalang... Actually, hindi naman nado-double yung um, SPF na nilalagay mo. Hindi siya nag a Like, kunyari, kanina nilagay ko SPF 40, tas SPF 15 ngayon. Hindi ako naglagay ng SPF 55. Yung gusto ko rin sa moisturizer na to, manipis din siya, at saka mabilis mag-sync sa... Mabilis siya ma-absorb ng skin ko din. So, perfect. Hindi na ako nagpa-moisturizer sa forehead ko because pag moisturizer ko yan, yung tendency is nagdidikit-dikit yung bangs ko. So, what I like to do is powder lang nilalagay ko sa may forehead. So while the moisturizer is sinking in my face, what I like to do naman is my eyeshadow. So this is totally um, optional. Kung gusto mo mag-eyeshadow, kung ayaw mo mag-eyeshadow, it's up to you. But something na super easy is the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in the shade Bad to the Bronze. So super dali lang niya. One step product lang to. What I like to do is apply it on my ring finger. Tapos pipikit lang ako. Apply ko lang siya sa lid. All over my lid. Para may onting 
shimmer yung lids natin. So totally up to you kung gusto niyo mag eyeshadow or not. Pero super quick lang niya kasi, like I said, one step na lang siya. So may onting shimmer na yung lids mo. So, before foundation, what I like to do is I still use a primer kasi iba talaga eh. Iba talaga yung lapat ng makeup sa face kapag naka-primer. So, what I like to use is the Becca First Light Primer. Travel size lang to. Meron akong full size. I know this is quite expensive. So, ang an another primer na favorite ko din na ma-recommend ko if you have dry skin is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Sobrang love ko din yun. Nagkataon lang na ito yung bukas at ito yung nasa makeup kit ko na ginamit ko for <laughs> ginagamit ko for everyday so ayan kaya siya yung gagamit ko pero like i said okay din yung next angel veil primer mas mura siya and effect naman siya as in nakaka smooth din siya ng face i mean ng pores kanya nakaka fill in tapos uh, moisturizing din siya so for foundation this is a recent dis discovery the discovery ko lang to late last year this is the hourglass vanish stick foundation stick vanish foundation stick. So, sobrang love ko to kasi ang dali niya gamitin. Tapos, brush lang yung pang-blend ko sa kanya. Tapos, sakto lang din yung coverage niya sa face ko. After ko, it maglagay ng marks all over my face. What I like to do is I grab a foundation brush. This is from It Cosmetics. Tapos, ibabuff ko lang siya all over my face. Super quick and easy. And then for concealer, what I like to use is the Benefit Boying Cakeless Concealer. This is a medium coverage concealer. Di siya nagpa-full. So perfect lang siya for everyday. And like I said, cakeless siya. So it doesn't really crease on your skin. So a little bit of dots. Tapos what I love about this then is pag wala kang brush, pwede mo siya i-blend in with your ring finger. Pero since may brush yung other end ng It Cosmetics foundation brush ko, ayan yung gagamitin natin. So pang under eye lang. So, kung nagpupuyat ka masyado sa work, stressed out ka, ayan, brightening lang din siya. Oh, before I forget, I use the shade number 5 sa Benefit Cakeless Concealer. Yan. Once your concealer is blended in, what you like, to, what you would need to do is set it. With the hourglass foundation stick, hindi ko na sineset yung entire face ko. Ang sineset ko na lang yung under eyes ko kasi baka mag-crease yung concealer pag hindi ko sinet. So, yung favorite ko na face palette for everyday is yung hourglass na face palette. So, limited edition to. Usually, pag holidays nyo lang siya nabibili. Madaming reseller dyan. Medyo mahal siya, pero sobrang worth it siya kasi... Araw-araw ko talaga siya ginagamit. Tapos what I use to set my under eyes is itong soft light na finishing powder. So nakaka-brighten lang din siya. Tsaka sobrang natural lang ng look niya. Hindi siya masyadong full coverage. So like I said, yung the rest of my face hindi ko na yan sineset. Dumidiretso na ako sa blush and sa contour and bronzer. So for blush, what I've been loving is yung glossy na cloud paint. This is in the shade Storm. Perfect shade to for my skin. I'm a MAC NC40. So medyo morena tan yung skin ko. Kung hindi nyo mabili yung glossy, eh, kasi sa US lang yata to, I'm not sure if they ship internationally. I also recommend tong Happy Skin na Color Play. Kakabi Color Play. Kakabili ko lang nito when I was in the Philippines. Tapos sobrang love ko yung shade na Peach Bomb. Ito, isa swatch ko sa inyo. Ito yung nagamit ko na. Sobrang similar niya. Pero, half the price yung color play nung Glossier. Tapos, syempre, hindi ka pa magbabay ng shipping kasi madami namang happy skin stores all over the Philippines. Hindi siya super shade match, pero medyo, medyo magkalapit naman siya pag na-blend na. Ayan. Siyempre, mas orangey, mas warm yung ano, peach balm. Kasi nga peach balm siya. Yung storm kasi medyo red-ish. So, yun yung ginagamit ko sa cheeks ko. Dadab ko lang na ganyan. 
Mas natural kasing look ng mga cream blush as opposed to powder. Pero what I like to do if I know na, kunyari, lo, super long day, tas gusto kong mag-last, sineset ko pa ng powder yung cream. So, a little bit sa nose. And then, sobrang contour girl ako. So, meron akong Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Powder. Ito naman, instead of yung entire palette yung bilhin nyo, kasi medyo mahal din yun, 50 bucks, so 2,500 pesos. Itong isa, less than half the price siya, so parang $20 lang yata to. So, 1,000 pesos lang. At least, hindi ka rin magsasayang ng product, kasi yung shade lang na nandyan is yung shade mo. So, yung shade ko is yung Shadow Play. Ito yung medium na shade. Perfect contour powder to for me. And I love it kasi nagagawa niya lang na mas may korte yung face ko and mas gusto ko yung look na ganon. So kahit hindi ako naka full coverage na foundation, gusto ko yung face ko medyo may shape pa rin. Okay, sometimes iba yung bronzer na ginagamit ko. Pero sa umaga, pag nagmamadali talaga ako sa work, gusto ko yung isang product lang. Tapos nandun na lahat. Kaya bumabalik si Hourglass na ambient lighting palette. And may bronzer na din to nakasama. So sabi ko sa inyo, super worth it siya. Pero yung bronzer na to, ginagamit ko lang pag nagko-contour ako underneath. Kasi medyo warm siya. And hindi niya masyado nabibigyan ng shape yung face ko kapag hindi ako nag-contour. May onti rin siyang glitter reflexes para may onting sheen yung cheekbones mo. Ayan. Kalimutan ko yung nose. Tapos, first setting spray, what I love is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Sobrang affordable nito. Drugstore product lang to, pero napapalast niya ng matagal yung makeup mo. And then, going back to the palette, meron din tong highlighter. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, like I said, I have dry skin. So, hindi masyado nagmamantika yung face ko. Wala akong natural highlight. So, what I like to do is add a little bit on my cheekbones. Ayan, sa temples ko. Tapos, sa may brow bone din. Nang onting-onti. And then, of course, sa nose. Onti lang. So, right now, naka-lash lift kasi ako. So, naka-curl na yung lashes ko. Um, wait, di ko mapakita. Ayan na, naka-curl na yung lashes ko. So, what I like to do is apply mascara lang. What I use is the Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. Hindi pa nga yung waterproof kasi parang madali lang siya matanggal. Pero, kunyari, hot and humid, lalo na pag summer, waterproof mascara is key. Ang hirap mag-makeup na may bangs. And then, of course, yung lower lash line. So, gumagamit ako ng mascara na miss may manipis na brush. Ito yung Heroin Make na mascara. Ayoko lang dito, kailangan mo pag gumamit ng remover para matanggal siya. Pero, long-lasting talaga to. At saka, like I said, manipis yung brush. So, mas madali siya i-apply sa under eye area. Hmm, saan lumalampas? Pero madali lang naman yung tanggalin. Okay, so we're almost done. Last but not the least is the lipstick. This is also a new favorite of mine. This is the Happy Skin and Love Marie collaboration. Ito yung Vivid Cotton Lip Mousse nila in the shade My Story. So, sobrang love ko to. Ikiklik mo lang siya. Tapos lalabas na yung product. And then, ang nice lang ng shade. For everyday. Tapos moisturizing din siya. Hindi nakaka-dry ng lips. Actually, a lot of the Happy Skin lipsticks hindi talaga nakaka-dry ng lips. So here is the finished makeup look. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you recreate this look for every day. Let me know if this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form. And if you have makeup requests or video requests, do comment it down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!